I also get sad when midgets die. We lost a, a real one last night, okay? Donnie Davis is dead. Say it. Say his name was Donnie Davis. His name was Donnie Davis? Pop him up, Bob. Pop need, up Donnie Davis. I'm going to need a pick. Your knowledge the- of little people is, is so small. Nailed it. Um, I know Willow. <laughs> I know Willow. Pop him up. There it is. Oh, you remember him. You remember From that what? little guy. He's in everything. He was with Chelsea Handler. He was with Britney Spears. Uh, he's done all the videos, all the things. Little Donnie Davis. What did he do? Little Donnie Davis. Um, he was a sweet, sweet midge. Okay. But what, it, as a job, he was just that? You can, he was a performer and entertainer, Jesse. Okay. He a dancer? Was yeah. He... Yeah. He was all the things. Okay. It's hard to call him a, a dancer first. Okay. Uh, he was, he was an entertainer, Jesse. And the fact that you don't have more sympathy for this is crazy to me. I like two little people. Who are they? Willow and Bridget the Midget. Is, but she's dead, right? No. She's alive? Alive okay. and kicking. Vern Troyer was my fave. Isn't and then, she? And he's dead. Give me a confirmation. Give me a proof. On Bridget the Midget? Give me a proof of life on yeah. Bridget the Midget. Yeah. Uh, he was a staple in Vegas. He performed with uh, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus, Seth MacFarlane, Mariah Carey, Joe Jonas, Kelly Osbourne, uh, Hayden Piana Terry. Jabe's, he's super fucking famous. And uh, he was also the star at Beecher's Madhouse for two decades. You worked, you worked in Vegas. You don't know who Donnie Davis is? No. Man. I don't know what you mean by perform. He performed. He did various things. Various things. When you're an entertainer, you do all of it. He sang. He danced. He drank. He enjoyed life. He lived La Vida Loca. And I'm sorry that you can't respect it and or admire his work. You never saw him out there. He no, never came into your no, bar. No, I never, he never came into well, the, to the NASCAR cafe. Now it's too late. He's fucking dead. Yeah. So, and there is foul play suspected in this oh. one. Yeah. Was it Bridget the Midget that did it? Yeah. Because she's she, in jail. She is? Yeah, she stabbed her boyfriend with a butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse wants the applause. George, oh, give it to I her, daddy. I yeah. doing my own. Nope. No, when you do your own, you got to let the, let the rest of the world hear. We got to press the button. You got to press the button. Um, so with this one, uh-huh. this, one okay. this one gets dark. So he got cut off at a bar, having too much fun in Vegas. Okay? Okay. Ripping shit up. Cut him By off. By the way, getting cut off in Vegas. It's hard. As we know. Ever been cut off in Vegas? Um, no, not cut off from drinking, but like kicked off tables and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I, I've... Never, ever. The only way you can is if you fall asleep. I think if you fall asleep somewhere and there's one other thing. Okay. Like if you're asleep on the ground or, some, or on a falling asleep on the table or the slot machine, whatever, that's when they can kick you out, cut you off. Okay. There's going to be a lot of crimes today, by the way. I'm just giving everybody a heads up oh, here. Oh, you're going cr- heavy crime corner. We're going heavy on crimes today, Javes, because there's a lot. A lot to fucking dive into today, okay? okay. Donnie Davis. Sure. A little person. A little man. So uh, what happened? Cut him he off. Was at a, he was uh, cut off at a bar. Um, it was him and another one, uh, man. They were hanging out with two women at the Doghouse Bar. Uh, really want to dive into the spelling of Doghouse Bar because it's D-A-W-G. Has to be. Has to be. A Doghouse Bar at the hotel around 1 a.m., Women took the party to the Flamingo, as one should. Jesse, we've all been to the Flamingo late what at night. Year, what year is it? You're it's going the year to the Flamingo? Of the, of the fucking party, dude. Okay. Let's go to the Flamingo. Anything goes uh-huh. there. Uh, but came back to Resort World around 2.30 a.m. and then beelined it for the bar. And that's, that's when the bartender said, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. You're cut off. Donnie. Okay. Donnie, you've had too much. You've had too much, Donnie. Go home. You're so famous in this town. Don't let all the children down. That's what they said. That's what the bartender said in my mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's no statement from the bartender. That's just what I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. I, I'm assuming it went something like this. Donnie, you're a staple here. People love you. You're, you might be small in stature, but your heart is big and looks over the whole city, and that's what people really look up to. 
Go home, Donnie. I'll get you a, I'll get you a car service, Donnie. Probably something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, one of the women told the cops uh, that that's when they stepped away. So the man and Davis went to the room right around 3.30 a.m. Uh, the other man left the room at 4.20 a.m. Smoke him if you got him, obviously. Um, and then uh, came back to the room at 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, with one of the women. Mm-hmm. So one of the women was back and, uh, and then noticed Donnie sitting in a chair and his hands looked pale and pink and he began turning purple. The woman said Donnie's hands were freezing and that he was not breathing. That's when they placed him on the bed on his side. They called security and then called 911. He was taken to Sunrise Hospital where he was declared dead at 7 a.m. Was he alone in the room from 4.20 No. So the dude was in there um, for, mm, looks like, 50 minutes. It's just like alcohol poisoning. 3.30 to 4.20, and then came back to the room at 5 a.m. with one of the women. It's just, I'm just getting, I'm thinking out loud here. All right. I'm going to put on my detective hat today, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, just thinking out loud here today, I think... He killed his buddy, some drugs probably, you know? Accidentally. Accidentally. Yeah, yeah I'm sure they were partying. You don't, uh, Donnie Davis was beloved by everyone. Um, touched a lot of people. Some inappropriately, some not. Um, but when, when it came back to, to kind of checking out, I think he grabbed one of the, the women and was just like, shit, I got to get somebody else in and out of this room. There's too many cameras in here. And then maybe it'll just look like an overdose or something. That's my guess. Okay. Because then it's like, oh, shit, we were all partying. I don't understand. And I went to get you. And then you came here. You saw it. He's trembling. He's, he's freezing. We need to call the police. Because wouldn't you want to bring somebody else into that sitch? Because if it's just you and Donnie in the room, Donnie's dead. Quick thoughts here. You're, you're probably not going to, in Vegas, you're not going to be able to roll out a body down the stairs, right? No, but you Too many cameras. Call- if it's an OD, just call. But I think homeboy probably gave him the drugs, and so he's going to be – that's a guess. This mm-hmm. is all a guess. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be tried then because that's how it works. This just happened a week ago for that Los Angeles Angels pitcher. Um, he was doing drugs with uh, the pitcher from the Angels, pitcher from the Angels, overdose, and uh, homeboy just got 20 years minimum. They're about to send him some next week. but the minimum Because it was his drug? Yes, and he supplied the drugs. Doesn't seem fair. Well, them's the rules. Them's the rules. And oh, that's, okay. that's what happens when you're famous. Donnie Davis, extremely famous. Some say too famous at, at certain points of his career. And uh, maybe the pressure got to him. I don't know. I wasn't in the goddamn room that night. But what I do know is homeboy's probably going away for a little while. His buddy. I'm guessing Vegas, Nevada. Different rules, right? I don't you've know. Got, you gotta, you can't be putting everybody away over there that <laughs> I, that happens too, right? I understand it. But when you kill a, a, a Vegas legend like this, you're going to go away for a little bit. Yeah. I think if that case proved anything last week, if you're famous, you kill somebody famous, got to go to the pokey. You know? Okay. RIP Donnie Davis is what I'm saying today, Jabes. Right. And I think we're solving crimes here. Yeah. There was a good 50 minutes, 50, 5 zero, where his best friend was in a room with him alone and then left. Right. So maybe he's trying to say that. I think the, the thought process is he's going to say those were Donnie's drugs and he did the drugs and over, overdosed. That's a right. guess. That's a guess. We'll never know. We weren't in that room. That's his way out. Yeah. So bringing the lady back to the room might have been the smart plan. Who knows? Um, and other murder mysteries no, solved. No, because oh, um, <laughs> if it's just you, it's your word against the dead guys, right? Yeah. But if you have a witness in there, hey, dude, when I arrived, he was freezing. You know, um, body was still a little cold. Meh. You know, 